Stand by for action. We are about to launch Stingray. Anything can happen in the next half hour. alive with fish. Yes, Atlanta. Enough to supply food for millions. Now, if you are to pass that test paper on the principles of an undersea fish farm, I'd better explain some of the technicalities. Thanks, Professor Cordo. This course makes a change from duty at Marineville. Now, the remote television camera will show the process of the farm from beginning to end. Seawater filters into the reactor plant, where an atomic pile increases the water's temperature. It is then pumped into these coils on the seabed, enabling an area of 10 square miles of the ocean bed to be heated. The heated water now rises to the surface, and because it is so fertile, when it reaches the sun's rays, plankton life multiplies and attracts fish who come in search of food. In turn, the fish multiply. So we have an everlasting supply of food from the sea. Professor, something's gone wrong with the TV camera. Oh, dear, dear, how very unfortunate. Uh, I'm sorry, Atlanta. It will be fixed very soon. <laughs> Professor, look, that stingray. You must be mistaken, Atlanta. I, I tell you, I saw a stingray. Uh, can I use your radio? Maybe I can contact them. I'm sorry, Atlanta. I cannot allow you to do that. Professor, what's the matter? It is unfortunate, but you have accidentally seen something which compels me to be ruthless. Now listen, Professor. Stingray's out there, and Troy Tempest is going to be good and mad when I tell him about that gun. I'm afraid you don't understand. You did see Stingray, and then again, you didn't. You see, it's a model, an exact copy, made by my faithful underwater friends. But inside, it is an empty shell. You're crazy. What good will that do? Merely bring about the destruction of Troy Tempest and ultimately the whole of Marineville. I wonder how Atlanta's getting along at the nuclear fish farm. Well, Professor Cardo will look after him. He's a good guy. Yeah. Have you heard from her, sir? No, I guess she's too busy to call in. She's only on a two-week course, you know. Yeah. Guess there's no point in her contacting us. Uh, we'll be in the area of the atomic plant tomorrow, won't we, Phones? That's right, Troy. In that case, I guess there's no harm in you dropping in to see her. Yeah, I'll do that, Commander. Well, I'll give her my love. See if she needs anything. I doubt if she does, sir. If I know Atlanta, she's having a whale of a time. Untie me, Professor. You can't fight Marineville alone. Ah, but I am not alone. I am in control of a highly intelligent undersea race. My father discovered them. And I am sworn to continue my father's work. 
in making them great. You mean making them as crazy as you are? Silence! Oh, can you understand my feelings? You do not see the true majesty, the beauty, the resources of the ocean. Okay, so you're a fish without fins. But why build a model of Stingray? You will see. You will see. Soon the real Stingray will be mine. <laughs> Position West 7000, reference 7, Troy. Okay, phones. Green 95. But that'll take us way off our routine patrol schedule. Yeah, that's right. Green 95. Okay, Green 95 it is. Oh, I, I get it. We're going to divert to visit Atlanta at the fish farm. Correct. Prepare to dive. Main ballast, 1,000. Main ballast, 1,000. Guess I'll radio ahead. Let Professor Cordo know we're on our way. We are all prepared for our visitors, hmm, Atlanta? Spiders are walking into my web. <laughs> I'm telling you now, I'll do everything I can to warn Troy. And if I know him, he'll catch on, but quick. That would be foolish, Atlanta. Allow me. I will demonstrate why you will not do that. Beneath this table is a powerful gun. It is wired to this release control and trained on the chair opposite me. One wrong move or word from you, Atlanta, and I will press the control. <coughs> Troy Tempest will be sitting in a chair in that exact position. You really are crazy. It is good to see you all again. Unfortunately, uh, my food is rather unvaried down here. Fish is always on the menu. <laughs> but then, this is a fish farm. But Atlanta has managed a quite superb preparation of it. Oh, she can always manage to make the best of things. Guess I failed this time, Troy. Uh, you're too modest, Atlanta. It looks fine. Oh, the, the food's okay. What's wrong then, honey? Oh, uh, nothing, Troy. I guess I'll survive. Oh, dear me. I suspect Atlanta is feeling the effects of living under the ocean. Maybe you ought to come back to Marineville with us. I don't think she'd like to interrupt the course now. Would you, Atlanta? No, 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 no. I guess I'll be okay when I, when I get out of here. Contact electronic magnetic lead. Power force 17, operating.
you sure that chair is comfortable enough, Troy? Why, it's fine, Atlanta. And this meal is delicious. But you must be cold there, Troy. Uh, w wouldn't you like to change places with me? Are you sure you're okay, Atlanta? You seem kind of jumpy today. Oh, uh, sure, Troy. I feel just fine now. I'm having a great time down here. And there's only another seven days to go. It is in position. Release magnetic lead. Power off. All correct. Marineville Tower from Captain Tempest. Do you read me? Come in, Commander Shore. Go ahead, Troy. Read you loud and clear. We're about to resume patrol. Be leaving the fish farm in a few minutes, sir. Okay, Troy. There'll be no need to report again for four hours. Right, Commander. Here's Atlanta for you. Let's get our underwater gear phones. Hello, Father. Hi, honey. You okay? It's good to hear your voice. Anything you need? I uh, guess not, Father. Uh, but I've just remembered. There's a library book at home that should have been returned. A what? A book, Father. It's the fourth one from the left, on the lower bookshelf in the lounge. Okay, honey, I'll find it. Look after yourself. All right, Father. But don't forget the book. It is very important to me, personally. I, uh... I see you are admiring the view, Troy Tempest. Oh, not only that, Professor. I was just checking on Stingray. We always make sure everything's okay before boarding her. Very wise. Very wise. Yeah, well, everything seems hunky-dory, so we'll be on our way. Okay, Phones? Right, Skipper. We'll see you in another week, then, Atlanta. Yeah, I hope so. I'll open the airlock doors. So long. And thanks again, Professor. Have a pleasant trip. Yes. Be careful, Troy. Please be careful. Atlanta sure was acting strange, Phones. I guess it's like the professor says. Her being under the ocean this last couple of days. Yeah. I guess she'll be okay when she gets back home. Luckily, your attempts to warn Tempest failed. But I admire you for trying. What are you going to do to them? Watch Atlanta, and you will see. This is crazy. I can't find the hatch. Troy, this isn't Stingray. Look inside. It's a dummy. Quick, back to the plant. Hey, what's going on? We've been shut out. Uh, maybe the mechanism has failed. What do we do now, Troy? Without Stingray, we are trapped. No sign of Stingray. Nothing but this TV camera. Phones, we've got to get back into the atom plant. We may be able to attract Atlanta or the professor's attention. He's ignoring us. <laughs> He's behind this, Phones. He must have planned it all. And look, Atlanta can't help us.
Still no news from Stingray, eh, Lieutenant? No, sir. They're ten minutes past routine call. Okay, stand by for full sea search operation to be put into action. Start light signal to weather tower. Light signal to weather tower. Start search operation, Lieutenant. Marineville, from Weather Tower 7. Light contact with Stingray established. Go ahead, Weather Tower 7. What is your report? Stingray radio has failed. She's returning to Marineville. Expect her at dawn tomorrow. Cancel that search alert, Lieutenant. Guess they're okay. We're sure in a mess, Holmes. We've got to do something. If only we could get back into the reactor building. Guess we can rule out any help from Atlanta. Unless we could divert Cardo's attention. Well, how can we do that? I don't know exactly, Phones. I wonder, if the plant broke down, he'd be forced to investigate. Yes, I'll never get used to Atlanta being away from home. <sighs> yeah, I'm kind of tired. Routine days always get me this way. When there's an emergency on, we don't seem to notice the fatigue. And guess I'll get to bed. Oh, see, that reminds me. What was that Atlanta said about a book? And fourth book from the left. Hmm. Trapped in the depths. Yeah. Very interesting. Yes, yeah, by Professor Cardo. See, this is kind of interesting. Good, you've got the camera. I sure hope this works, Troy. It's got to. It's our only chance. Okay, phones, switch on the camera and pray that Atlanta gets the message and not Cordo. iPhone, switch it off. Okay, Marina, start pushing those rocks into the intake. The system seems to be having some large rocks to contend with. Oh, there's no danger. The crusher should be able to manage it all right. Oh, that's no good. The filter system is too strong. We need larger rocks for our air supply. We'll never make it. We've got to. Come on. These ought to fix things. The extra effort, it, it's using up too much air, Troy. Keep going, folks. Keep going. Must be an unusually strong current to bring such large boulders. Mm, but unless they continue in any great number, the crushers will hold out. I've got about five minutes of air left, Troy. 
That filter system must be stopped. Try to last out phones. I'll try. I've got to keep going. The filter system is jammed. Oh, I'd better investigate it. Uh, we failed, Fox. We had a good try. But our air won't hold out. Your checking of the filter system gave us just enough time to get in, with Atlanta's help. Now, sit down, Professor, in that chair, and remember the gun. I'm afraid you'll have to count Stingray out of your plans to destroy Marineville. In fact, you'll have to discount the plan itself. Now get Stingray back here. We're going to let those undersea people of yours look after themselves. Curse you, Tempest! What are you going to do to me? Oh, you'll be given a fair trial at Marineville. Now, radio Stingray, or I fire. Father, wake up. Wake up, you old sleepyhead. Come on, Father, I'm home. What, what, what time is it? I didn't hear the alarm. Say... Atlanta, what are you doing here? Didn't you understand my message about the book? Yeah, but it was too late to take it back to the library. I read it, though. Very interesting. But the title, Father, Trapped in the Depths by Professor Cordo, didn't it mean anything to you? Yeah, yeah, it's a good title. That's what the book's all about. <laughs> oh, Father, you're impossible. Why? What did I do? I think, sir, Atlanta's trying to point out what you didn't do. Forget it, honey. We're all safe and sound, anyhow. Yeah. Now, let me get back to sleep, will you? <laughs> Marie. that start whenever you're near. Marina, aqua marina, why can't you whisper the words that my heart is longing to hear? Your magic to me, a beautiful mystery. I'm certain to fall, I know, because you enthrall me so, Marina, Aqua Marina, why don't you say that you'll always stay close to my heart? 